Tourists and locals alike are celebrating Cinco de Mayo in the heart of downtown Santa Barbara. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab joins us live in studio with how this holiday is bringing people together. Mina. Business is booming in Santa Barbara as eateries have tailored their decorations and menus to this festive holiday. Do you like this hat? Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Of course Children and adults alike are celebrating Cinco de Mayo over food and drink. We have the large conchita and then we have the smallest one. This yearly celebration commemorates the military victory of the Mexican army, who against all odds defeated invading French forces at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. A big celebration for Mexican people, for La Batalla de Puebla in Mexico. Many people we spoke to say the historical context is lost on many as the holiday has become synonymous with drinking and partying. A lot of people confuse it with the Mexican independence as well, which is completely off. <laughs> yes. In Mexico, they do not celebrate it the same way as the Americans do, which to my understanding is largely with a lot of tequila and probably tacos. But locals say it still brings the community together and allows people to appreciate the richness of Mexican cuisine. <laughs> really drink a lot of tequila in shots of margaritas and tacos. Especially the college kids for Cinco de Mayo, it's one of the biggest places to come, you know, get margaritas, get your favorite Mexican food, things like that. So it is such a fun culture here. Restaurants like Elena's Kitchen is offering special pastries decorated in red, green, and white to represent the Mexican flag. Other venues have special Cinco de Mayo menus. Local business owners want to encourage people to learn more about the history of this day while supporting their small businesses over authentic Mexican cuisine. Live in studio, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. Thank you for that, Mina. Other Mexican restaurants are also seeing a boost in business today. Los Arroyos in downtown Santa Barbara and Maiz Picante, a new site on Upper De La Vina in Santa Barbara. Actually, on um, Upper State Street, there's another as well. Both have special menus today, special prices, and both are expecting larger crowds to come in. They stress an authentic menu and a neighborhood-friendly approach as vital keys to their success. Familia Arroyo, that's, 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 that's how, how, how we feel, like the Familia Arroyo, yeah. This is like to be like our, our second home, you know, and customers is like Familia. But I think in order to survive Santa Barbara, you need the support of the community in order to get through and really survive here. And yeah, this place has been amazing, but um, I hope, I really do want them to make it because their food's fabulous, the ambiance. <laughs> And the workers are vital here and economic success in the front of the business translate to solid jobs for those in the kitchens, their families and their survival in Santa Barbara.